Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me, Peter. Now, uh, just a really quick tip today. Um, I just finished modeling this Nokia 5110 and now I think this is a really nice little project, especially if you're just getting to hang with plasticity. Um, something like this, it's got plenty of curves and shape to it. Nothing's too complicated and you can get away with uh, using the very basic modeling tools, um, predominantly CVs and, and, and curves. So pretty cool um, model, but obviously it's got this front curve coming down and the front side that's extruded out from the side. Um, and some of these have got some quite cool little shapes in there and that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. So. If you look at this um, button socket, this button hole, um, you can see that the extrusion actually comes uh, out further on this side than it does on that side. Now, um, you might think you've got to do something complicated to get that result, but not really. Now, with fillets and chamfers, obviously if we chamfer something, let's just change our mat cap and isolate our object, edges on. Okay, so if we chamfer something, we can add a stop point, right, like that. And we can, if we fill it something, we can add a stop point by pressing L. You can see it down there, okay. If we fill it this, we can press V to add a variable point, and we could do something like that. Now you can't really do that with circles, so so this was my solution. So let's make a circle. You can do this with any shape. We can just edit the shape of it. Shift D to duplicate. Okay. S to scale. V to add a pivot, and then S to scale again. And you'll see that we've got these two circles that are slightly away from each other. So we bring the larger one out like that. Select both of them, press L to loft. Press 4 to go into body mode. Patch it. Get rid of our curves. And we can bring that in like that. Okay. So once we Boolean that out, you'll see that. If we go into front mode, it's got its variable points, and then we can, you know, add our extra shapes to that with our fillets and chamfers. Okay, so as you can see, that's worked out something nice, and that's how I got that result in the end. So just a very, very quick one from me today. Don't forget that you can get a 10% discount off of Plasticity by using the code REFUGE10 and check out my products in the links below. Choo, 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 choo.